question came in with individuals that are in corporate America or, church, or, or work politics rather, and they are deciding always to do the right thing. But they see people around them that cut corners, that maybe cheat, lie, do things unethical. And that doesn't seem like they ever get caught. And it seems like to this one individual that wrote in, they lost their job and other people are thriving. Well, here's the thing. You can never give up your integrity. Your integrity is who you are. Your integrity is how you live. And you don't want to compromise your integrity because once you do, you've lost yourself. You need to stay true to you and true to your integrity and do things the right way. Eventually, even the Bible says, for this is very sure that a man's sin will find him out. Eventually, it's not always immediately, but eventually, our bad decisions, our bad actions, our, our unethical behavior, our bad business practices, or how we treat other people, whether it's in a church environment or a business environment, it comes back to us eventually. So you don't look at the short term, look at the long term. Be integral, keep your character, because it's character that'll cause you to grow and be consistent and you'll develop. When you do the right thing, it always comes back to you. The blessing of God is right there. So please don't compromise because you see people around you cutting corners and cheating and getting ahead because eventually that thing's gonna tumble on them. Can I pray for you now and encourage you? Father, I pray, God, for those that want to live integrally. It's the fiber of who they are. They want to do the right thing. They want to live righteously. Lord, I pray you help them not to be influenced by the people around them that are doing negative things. But Lord, help them to do the right thing and make the right decisions. You said in your word, if God would not be mocked, whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. Let them reap the blessing and the benefits of their integral decisions. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Do the right thing.